What's up everyone? Welcome to Sunday with Ola number 26, huh? Remember I told you there wouldn't be a Sunday with Ola this week? Well, here it is. I'm just trying my best right here, okay? I will probably have enough time to write my solos, but you know, sometimes... Uh, uh, you know? <laughs> no? Okay, great. <laughs> no, but I was thinking uh, that I'm just gonna try and make a quick Sunday with Ola. Last week I said I would do a quick Sunday with Ola and it wasn't really that quick, it was uh, 25 minutes. But that's okay, that's uh, completely okay. But this this riff right here that you heard and the Sunday with Ola riff, that was really, really stressed. That took me 10 minutes to write uh, right there. It, you know, it's, it's okay, it's, I'm not gonna downplay it, it's riffs, you know. Caveman riffs, that's okay. But uh, anyway, the Sunday with Ola riff challenge that I have, you can download the drums from this uh, piece of music that you heard in the beginning of the video, and you can make your own riffs, and you can make them better than you know the ones that I made. Pretty cool, huh? Great, what's up, man? We have new At The Gates guitars. I made a video this past Friday, you can check it out. It's uh, the new signature uh, At The Gates guitar, uh, version 2, because we had one before. First guitar we had with uh, Fishman Fluence pickups. Now we have two, one for each guitar player, one for Jonas and one for Martin. Okay, makes sense? Cool. And since I'm gonna keep this short, let's head on with the news. Okay, so one piece of uh, news that I found a little bit interesting, like slightly, moderately interesting, okay? But at least it's a piece of news. It's that Amplitude is releasing Amplitude 5. Click play right now. There you go. And, you know, Amplitude has been a thing for, uh, a, you know, a lot of years uh, from Amplitude 1. Amplitude 4, and now Amplitude 5, which is the new uh, Amplitude. And from the looks of it right here, I'm looking at it right now, and you're probably watching it as well, because I'm gonna put it up here. It seems that uh, they're trying to go the Axe Effects route. As you can see. Uh, sleek interface, okay. You know, I kinda like this new setup right here. I always thought that Amplitude was really, really good looking but not necessarily the best sounding plugin out there. You know, I really like the Dimebag Daryl presets right here. It looks good. I mean, they're saying that they sonically remodeled the amplifiers. I have a question regarding this. Does that mean that I'm not going to be able to use my Dimebag Daryl amplifiers? Will I be able to use my old presets? Or is this just the same amp modeling in a new package? The questions are many, I must say. Processed sounds, okay. I see the Daryl amplifier there in the amp section, so it's probably there, but does this mean they actually did a remodeling of the amplifier? I'm a little skeptical about this. I love when they have the uh, the look like this, when they, you know, you're actually working with, so it actually seems that you're working with real gear and, you know, real knobs. I like that, but uh, it all comes down to the sound, man, and uh, to be honest, with Amplitude, it's always been, you know, it's always there's been so many different amplifiers, so many different cabinets and whatnot. That's not always a good thing. I always thought that some of the amps didn't sound that good. It's usually the impulses that doesn't sound that good. But some of the stuff sounds good. The Mesa stuff, I like that. The Dimebag Daryl stuff, I like that. But yeah, I think I'm a little bit excited and I think I want to try this out. Thank you. Now you can import your own IRs. Thank you so much. So I don't have to use another loader like I had to do before. This looks Looks good, look at that. Such! Uh, recording, okay, I don't really care about that. Oh, I don't really care about having a DAW in Amplitude, but I guess that's cool for people that want it. Bloopers. I mean, I have the uh, the Amplitude pedal board, which is really cool, so you should be able to connect that straight into Amplitude and you just have all the connectivity between the plugin and the pedal board, which is cool, I guess. And, uh, yeah. It looks promising, but it all comes down to... Will it chug? I have no idea. But it's a piece of news, at least. <laughs> okay, so I want to do a little shout-out to my riff buddy, Keith Merrow. 
who's been uh, putting out more and more YouTube content for the past months. He was off YouTube for a year or two and a couple months back he decided to go back into it and push it again. He started making FAQs and he basically pushed the limit and made the absolute sickest FAQs that were out there. And then Keith made a statement on Facebook uh, about killing his FAQ series and uh, that people stopped asking questions. Gear demos are so boring. You two and I have a long rocket relationship. I told myself I'd give it another go for 2020 and it didn't show growth or engagement in this year. I'd retire it. The year is almost over. Very little growth, little engagement. Not sure what else I can do. I'd love to continue to make stuff for people to watch it, but it's becoming clear that the channel is dead. I tried to save it. I'm going to finish up through December and probably hang it up to focus on studio work again. Thanks to all who support my channel and videos over the past decade. And reading this made me genuinely sad because one, Keith is obviously one of the OG guys who, uh, you know, started like me, you know, doing the amplifier demos and, you know, uploading his songs to YouTube. It's just, you know, he's my bro, basically. Keith has always been putting out absolute top notch video in terms of you know, the musical quality, uh, you know, the riffing and their songs are just amazing. Uh, his videography, like just the videos alone just looks incredibly awesome. And he has that down to like, it's it's perfection basically. And the videos have always been sort of like a, a reminder to myself to always do better. I just wanted to shed some light onto this. And guys, if you aren't subscribed to Keith's YouTube channel, please take a minute. Go there and subscribe right now. I'll wait, okay? It's important. Okay? Go show your support. Okay? Keith, if you're watching this, please don't stop. We all need you, okay? Please. Please. Thank you. All right, Adventures with Ola, back in the Swedish forests. Why are we here? It's actually me and my whole family. We're here and uh, we're doing geocaching in the Swedish forests. If you struggle getting your kids out in the forest and out walking, geocaching is it's really good. My son is in there, in the trees. It's like Indiana Jones. The autumn is really here, guys. Look at the leaves. Did you find anything? Huh. Should be here somewhere. You know, I think this would be a really good premise for like a horror movie if you did this in the middle of the night. I'm a Kaliwa. <laughs> My son's giving up. Like. Oh, I recognize myself in him. <laughs> the clue said, take help from the little ones. So we're thinking maybe they're talking about the ants. Because this is an ant's nest right here. They found it. Okay. What? What is that? Oh, that's a... Oh, so it's an undercover rock. Very clever. They hid it underneath a fake rock. I saw it. That's Look at this. That's so good. Holy shit. The kids, they found the treasure. They will put something in there. I figured that I would put some Ola England guitar picks in the geocaching. How about that? So the next one that comes along can, can have a guitar pick from Ola England to Swede. How about that? Oh, you got a marble? Right, I'm gonna put a haunted pick in there. there Put it down. Right. Yes, Mama. just throw it in there. And, okay. Oh, smiley. Now there's some really good things in here. Look at this. All the people that have been here. England family. No, no. You can't take my pick. Kaliwan, you have to put it back. I left that there. All right, there we go. Perfect. That was fun. We're gonna try and see if we can find another one now. And if you're in the area where I live, Maybe you can find one of these guitar picks, you know? If you go geocaching with your kids, you're saying. The clue was, can you see the target? Well, this is the target right here. So Luis found out. Look at that. There it is. How are you doing, Kaliwan?
Kalua. Okay, put it back in. Det var inte mycket kvar. Nej, det är jättemycket kvar. Locked. Vi skrev inte, eller? Nej. Hittar du My daughter found blueberries. <laughs> he's mad that he's not finding it. This is not easy. All right, so we're done. We found three out of four geocaches in the forest. And now I'm once done. Tired and sad, just like any other, you know, family day. <laughs> anyway, that's adventures with Ola. <laughs> Luis is happy. It's me and Luis. We're happy. Oh, you're also happy. That's good. Kaliwan, are you happy, Kaliwan? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. All right, adventures with Ola out. Okay, so remember, two Sunday with Olas ago, uh, I made a poll to buy a signature guitar and uh, you guys voted I had the option to buy a Dean Michael Amott guitar Jackson Mick Thompson guitar or the Schechter Nick Johnston guitar and you guys voted holy shit you voted <laughs> the results breakdown is this 3000 votes for the Jackson Mick Thompson about 2000 votes for the Nick Johnston traditional Schecter and about 1,000 for the Michael Amott Dean Tyrant so about 5,000 votes 5 to 6,000 votes holy shit guys you guys are insane so 50% voted for the Jackson MTM2 that's great you know what? I have it here it got delivered I ordered it so I'm gonna unbox it right now how exciting is that? shit I'm gonna unbox it right now in front of your face is that okay? hello I lost my knife, so I'm just holding a razor blade like this. Not recommended to do at home. If kids are watching this, if you're watching this with your kids, tell them this is not okay. This is this is really fucking dangerous right here. But this is what I do. I'm, I'm a pro. Okay, calm down, calm down. Look at this. Look at this graph. Ah. Ah. Okay, we're good. I didn't hurt myself. I didn't cut myself. We're ready. Okay, let's see. What is this? Okay, it's a Jackson guitar. I think so. There it is, baby. Jackson. Did I order anything else? I did order shit. Okay. What did I order? Flying cartons? No? What was it? I don't want to take off my microphone, but I have to get rid of this so it's out of can. It's great. Using the Jackson guitar. Oh, shit. I also ordered these. Fucking footrests for guitar players. Look at this. Okay, finally, guys, I can play proper guitar. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm happy to announce that I will finally be able to play proper guitar because I now have a footrest. No excuses. Now I can finally play guitar. Okay, great. I have a footrest, but this is the shit right here. This is a Jackson box. I'm opening up with my little racer. Don't do this at home, only for pros. You voted for this guitar. I purchased it. There it is. Okay, unboxing with Ola. Look at this, holy macaroni, what's this? May crafted in Indonesia. It's not made in Indonesia. I just crafted, okay? Mm. Look at that. The pickup selector looks great. <laughs> Look at that. That is the Jackson Mick Thompson. M What's it called? SL2 Pro Series Soloist. I mean, look at that. Holy shit. We have to plug in. Okay, there's plastic on the pickups. We have to remove the plastic. Do I have to physically remove the pickup to be able to remove the plastic? It's wrapped around. I don't know if you can see this, but the plastic is wrapped around the pickup. Okay, maybe I'll get it now. Oh, now obviously I'm gonna compare this guitar with my Ibanez MTM2 that I've been using. You know, one of the guitars that I started my YouTube channel with. And I'm gonna put that to the test against this one. And it's gonna be amazing. Oh, look at that. Look how... 
Look how fucking wobbly that pickup is. Well, as long as it stays, you know, it's not a, that's not a problem. So the point with this is that I will make a review of this guitar on my YouTube channel. And... That's it. I'll make a review. <laughs> okay, let's go. Holy shit, man. It's a Floyd. Oh, no, it's not a Floyd. Sorry, I was saying it's a Floyd, but it's not. It's one of those... Uh, it looks like a Floyd, but it's actually a fixed bridge because the bridge is fixed uh, down here at the edge of the body. That's the same as with the MTM2 that I have. I think it's because Mick prefers the feel of a Floyd Rose on his palm, but he's not actually using a Floyd. Yeah, baby. It actually came sort of in tune, that's cool. Yeah man, I'm not gonna play more, because I'm gonna make a review of this guitar on this channel. But there it is, holy shit, the Soloist 2, SL2, Mick Thompson right there. Fucking hell. Members, are you guys ready? Ola, getting shit. Is that a good name? I have no idea. I'm in here, in my Twitch room, that's what I call it. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the things that I've received from this past week. I have two things that you guys have sent to me. Thank you so much, you guys are amazing. I'm gonna show you the first one, which is from Peter Hawthorne. Pete Hawthorne is from Coventry, the land and hometown of Baltfor, one of my favorite death metal bands, and he sent me this. A nice sticker, a Baltfor sticker. It's a little worn off. But still a bolt throw sticker. It's the first bolt throw sticker that I've ever had. So, uh, just have to figure out where I should place this. I'm not sure. But not only that, he also sent me a damage plan guitar pick, a dime bag damage plan guitar pick. Really, really appreciate that. That's just way too nice, man. Thank you, Pete. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is something from a man who contacted me. Uh, his name is Ben Corbett. And he's the inventor of uh, something as uh, weird as these amp horns. Now, what is this? I have no idea. But they're called amp horns. And they come with screws like this. And they're meant to be placed on the side of your amplifier. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's just do it. I have to pick an amplifier first. I'm not sure which. I guess it has to be a Satan. The thing with the Randall Satan 50 is that even though it's smaller than the regular 120 watt, it still weighs the same. Okay, where should I place this? Can I place it up here without breaking my ass? Let's put it on a skateboard, because why not? Okay. I am so smart. I am so smart. SM Marty. So you could either put screws in this and put it on the side of the amplifier, but I don't want to put screws in my Tolex, just saying. But he included these Velcros, so... Okay. Are you guys ready? Here's the Randall Satan 50, like this. Well, check this out. Let's add some horns. <laughs> Can you see? It has horns now. I have no idea what the function behind these amp horns are other than just making, you know, the amplifier look like it has horns. I guess if you screw them in with screws, you can probably carry the amplifier in the horns. But I mean, that's what you have the uh, this little handle for right there. But I guess if you just want to make your amplifier a little bit more evil looking, these are the amp horns that Ben Corbett sent to me. I'll put a link to Ben in the description of this video. If you want to check out these amp horns, look at that. It looks a little evil, I must say. I mean, having a Randall Satan, it's a given. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for sending me all of this. Thank you to Ben, thank you to Pete. I really appreciate you guys going out of your way to send me stuff like this. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mwah. So, 
Sunday with all our riff challenge. No, it's not gonna stop just because I'm writing solos. We're continuing on with this challenge, okay? So those drums that you heard in the beginning, download those. D -d those? Download those in the description of this video, make your own riffs, and maybe I'll get you featured in the next Sunday with Ola. We're gonna check out the contributions from this past week. Right here, okay? First up is John Ciardulo. He has... Oh, oh shit, he has 7,000 subscribers. Okay, let's go. What the hell was that? Dude, I like his uh, pop collection back there. Look at that. But yeah, the playing is really, really great. Uh, I must say, he has an RST, this guitar as well in the back, but he probably picked the Solar just to have a bigger chance of, you know, being on the channel. But that's not how I work, okay? That's not how I work. I don't pick, uh, you know, people with Solar guitars over the other ones, okay? It's because a lot of people that are watching my stuff has a Solar guitar, okay? So calm your tits. I'm not favoring people with solo guitars. Okay? Good. That was Johnny Ciardillo. Holy shit, man. Well done. Next is Alex Despotidis. With a Dean Far Beyond Driven guitar. And by that, it's already, he's already a winner in my book. He's saying. Yes, a little groove stank, man. Very Pantera-ish. I can dig it. There you go. Fucking hell. I did not expect that. Some neoclassical there. Oh, shit. Alex, what have you done? Made me shit my pants. No. Well done. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Next up is Seb. Oh shit, he has a game playing here in the background. What is that? Is that Sonic? Yes! Sonic! Let's concentrate on wrists, okay? Calm down. Yeah! This string is not giving a f by the way. It's just letting it hang there. Ready to poke someone's eye out. Nice! Oh shit, okay, and ended it with a f***ing sweep. Like a f***ing boss right there. That's Seb. If you want to be just as cool... Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong with the English? If you want to be just as cool... If you want to be just as cool as these guys right here that I showed... Download the drums? Record your own riffs, and I might feature you in the next Sunday with Ola. How about that? Ola Tasting Shit. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ola Tasting Shit. Today... <laughs> that was that. Today I'm really excited, actually, because uh, I get to eat my favorite type of candy, which is chocolate. I'm just saving the microphone from... So, we're gonna try out some Swiss chocolate, and we got this from Luik and Valeri. Yes. Uh, from the band uh, Chauseum. And they also send us... Uh, in Swedish, Chauseum. <laughs> Chauseum, the Swedish, the Swedish name of this band. Swiss, not uh, Swedish. Swiss. They send us uh, t-shirts. We should, we should put yes. them on. So the Swiss smell chocolate, it's their own chocolate? Yeah, it's <gasps> like, uh, I think it's a, a company oh. that makes chocolate for bands. Okay, now Ooh. we have to think twice about the microphone there. Oh, it's kind of small. Oof, but it does something good to your uh, mid waist there. Aye. <laughs> this was also small. <laughs> Shit. It wasn't okay. the American sizes? No. That's, that's a good thing, by the way. Now, this is. Uh, it works. Luik? I don't know how to pronounce it. Luik? Luis? I don't know. Luik? And then we have. Here is Valeri. <laughs> so you have one of each <laughs> on the titties. Lovely. They are How solar perfect. artists. They knew this when they designed the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, we both met these guys. They were at NAMM and uh, they're solar artists and uh, we're proud to have you. And thank you so much for sending this. And we're going to eat their chocolate today because obviously, uh, no, apparently they have chocolate their of their own. Ooh, look at that. 
that's that's nice that looks really nice 54 percent okay 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 what's this <laughs> ah okay there was i thought it was yeah. candy it's it's the cd of course <laughs> thank you there's oh, they're, they're, the they're the same yeah. they're the same so i guess we can just uh, go ahead and eat one save the rest for a romantic evening i think you're supposed to oh you lift it off that's cool sugar Look, cocoa we're opening it together so romantic oh, you, oh, oh let me feed you, you. just broke look at this this is not oh. how you this is not how you break chocolate look at this what's this what's what is she doing you know there's squares no you have to diagonal that's what louise does freaking whamming man that's not how you do it okay here you go here's your here's your perfect square louise there you go eat that i'm gonna fix this look at this i'm gonna eat the other diagonal Shit. <laughs> 54% is basically mid, dark, and milk chocolate, I guess. 54%. So it's not too bitter. No. It's not too sweet. It's just... I did it again, sorry. Logum. It's very logum. Mm -hmm. Very good, like, in between, you know. I want to have more. But I'm going to break it off. No, like a like, like a this. pro. Look at this. <laughs> Look. Oh, oh, perfect squares. Oh, then you know you get the perfect amount for each individual. Just to annoy you. Oh, that, that is annoying. <laughs> How are we even married? <laughs> How is it possible? Great. Never goes wrong with Swiss chocolate. These are all in, uh, in French. Mm -hmm. Swiss. Swiss. <laughs> they're really, they're, they're a little bit heavy. It takes a while to kind of digest in the mouth. Yeah. And get rid of. Ola Tasting Shit. Thank you so much to uh, Luik and Valerie for uh, sending us this. Thank you. You guys rock and roll. And that, my friends, was this Sunday with Ola. It was maybe a little bit shorter than usual. But anyways, you know, I have to record those solos. Oh, be careful. This is a razor blade right there. Don't forget about the last chat winner. I haven't talked about this in the past weeks, but basically the past three weeks, Valeria Soto has won every last chat of the premiere. How's that possible? Is she cheating somehow? I have no idea. Everyone, be ready for the last chat this week, okay? So maybe someone can dethrone Valeria Soto right here. It's not okay. She's won three times in a row. That's sketchy, man. I don't like that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this Sunday with Ola. Hope you enjoyed it. Otherwise, <laughs> I was about to say go f*** yourself. But, you know, if you didn't like this video, that's okay. You know, it's fine. Positive Ola. Don't tell people to go f*** themselves. That's not a nice thing to say. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go uh, spend time with your, uh, your people, your peeps, your family, your friends. And, uh, yes. Great ending. Oh, England. <laughs> <laughs>